All right, test, 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 test. <clears throat> So we talked about uh, we're starting to watch uh, Dahmer, so Monster, the Don Jeffrey Dahmer uh, series. A couple of us are watching that. Uh, Nick, do you intend to watch this? Yes, you're watching. Yeah, you're watching. I, I, it now. I, yeah, he's watching it. Watching I watched it. the whole thing. So we're all watching. Either I've watched no. it, you guys are watching. It. You've not I seen have it. not, and I won't. Okay. <laughs> Why not? Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. because you guys are shitting my jokes, and you both no, are watching no, and enjoying no, it. I, mean, for, I, on principle, for, will not. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Why, first, not? why don't first, why aren't you interested? Well, first of all, let's uh, say that this is our idiot inquiry of the week. Yes, that's okay. right. Yes. Yep. Um, the the so idiot why, inquiry week is is what what is why are these uh, uh, serial killer shows and and movies? What is it about them that is, that right. is captivating us? And that's right. are you captivated by it? Yes. Um, I'll start. I go ahead, please. I, I wouldn't say across the board. I'm not one of those people that um is into like all the serial killer things or all that I watch it obsessively or anything like that. I find certain ones very, very interesting. Um, Jeffrey Dahmer is one of them. Um, and it's because it's so hard to wrap my head around someone doing the type of shit that he did that it's. I, I like to try to watch every adaptation of it that I can. I guess maybe on some level, I don't, you know, consciously think of it this way, but I think on some level I'm just trying to, uh, to try to find something that may have what caused somebody's brain to work this way. What does did something right. happen? Like what the fuck? Who does that? I mean, it's one thing where you know people, you know, maybe this is sounding desensitized, but people kill each other all the time. People, you know, there's things like that. I mean, it's not just like popping off a gun, but like literally to like lure people to your, your residence and, and cut them up and eat them and multiply. I mean, it's just, it's so outside of even just being like illegal or wrong, or it's just on a whole other level of demented. And, you know, I won't go too on too long, but another one, I can't, I can't watch enough stuff on, Charlie Manson, and he is fascinating to me just from a psychological sense that he had this, the the way that he was able to manipulate things to his will is just, it astounds me. Everything I watch on him. So it's, I'm like I said, I'm not all about like every single one, but some of these ones that are just, they really strike me as very interesting. And Dahmer is one of them to where it's just, it in his case, it's so just off the fuck, just so far out of bounds, like the shit that he did, that you're just like, how does even a sick person, like, how do you get to that? Like, that's a whole other level that you've unlocked there. Like, how do you mentally get to a place where you can physically do that type of shit, you know? So, um, and it's not, I don't feel like it's, you know, glorifying it or anything like that necessarily. It's just, I think it's just the general curiosity, you know, of, of people. I mean, if people were driving around with, you know, license plates and stuff like of, of Jeffrey Dahmer's face, like they do Darth Vader, you know what I mean? Like that's a character and he's a villain and sure. that's glory, you know, but it, it, it's, it, there's a degree of separation, you know what I mean? But like with serial killers, I think what, and maybe that is, maybe that's what draws people in general to serial killers is the fact that they're not scary guys in a movie or a book they're you know these these villains that were created out of imagination these are real living breathing people who actually did this shit and you're like it it brings that level of reality to it where you just go how like how did how did it actually how did somebody actually do this type of stuff you know so i don't know that's that's kind of just the way that i think of it but yeah that's where my head is too it's like i you know, it's, it's you know Dahmer around here. It's a, it's an added curiosity because you know we're in you know, northeast Ohio in the uh, Akron Barberton area, and he was from Bath, Ohio, which is very close to where we mm -hmm. live. So it's a very yeah. you know uh, local thing. But one of my yeah, uncles knew him. Yeah, what wow. I'm, uh, yeah. There is uh, down at Lake Ann uh, around the lake 
there are there's a tree with a plaque um uh, the tree's donated in his honor or whatever and there's a plaque uh for that tr- you know for the his first victim uh this hicks i believe his last name was okay hmm. never do that it's, it's missing but, some limbs <laughs> you i didn't want to give it to you but you made me think of that yeah. <laughs> No, but I, I, I have the same thoughts you had. Like I said, just the curiosity of what, how the brain can just get, what makes a person turn to. It's just, it's just very interesting. I'm also watching the John Wayne Gacy tapes. That's that's also on Netflix. It's like a three part thing. I'm on the third. That's another one. Was he the clown just, killer? Yeah, was he that was, Gacy? He dressed up like a clown, but he mm-hmm. didn't dress up like a clown to. Ki- kill necessarily it was just the that was his job for, wasn't he, it he, he did that for like community type stuff he was yeah. like a uh uh he, you know it was a neighborhood he, democracy so anyways he was like a neighbor he did he ranged uh stuff for the local neighborhood and everything okay. kind of so not a bad with... guy just made some bad decisions <laughs> along the way no <laughs> man Mm-mm. i don't think no i don't, just, I don't think you can the, the story just when they when they so now you know, the other, but they're also these are extra interesting too because they're interviewing actual uh officers that were on the case that were in the house in the crawl space digging out corpses out of the house these guys are doing these interviews talking about this stuff and it's just like god just to imagine what they had to go through and it's like he had you know, what 30 bodies or so in the house it's just it's just crazy nuts and he's just you know just living living his life so like i say it's just a it's just a curiosity of the whole thing just the it's just wow that's it that's it that's 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 just my fascination and curiosity of, of the whole thing. So now, Dina, you mentioned that you you have no intention to watch Dahmer. Do you have, um, is, are you, you against know, the, in general or are you just no, Are you Dahmer against Jeffrey Dahmer? <laughs> Do you, <laughs> yes. What's up with that? I, a little bit. Um, no, I, I'm just like you guys, just, just like uh, the public in general. Um, I am fascinated by like how that brain works. How, why um somebody could do such things um i'm also fascinated by the uh the catching of them like the the tv yes, shows yes, criminal yes, yes. minds um, right, right right or even also the ineptitude of some of the police officers you know yes hindsight being 2020 but some of the like there was the because i've watched documentaries on Dahmer before and like the the one guy he had like the he was doing like the lobotomy thing on him right right and he got out right and the he he, he flagged down police officers and Dahmer was able to um he brought him back in the house br- yeah co- coax and, and and cohorts the the police officers it, to let him take him back at home i mean they said it was a boyfriend and he was drunk or mm-hmm. took her he was high yeah. or something and they yeah like, okay, i mean have so, a nice night, so sir. you and your 14 year old yeah. lover have a good night mm. and i know hindsight being 2020 but come on i mean but yeah anyways the, the fascination of all of that that like mentally how that could happen on all sides is fascinating and uh, yes i've watched um, documentaries and TV show. I watched the the movie on Ted Bundy. I've watched documentary yep. on Ted Bundy. I am fascinated by all of that. Zach Efron, but, right? He did I a was great job. By that too. Yeah, he did. He did. Yes. Um, the the Dahmer thing. The only reason I have the issue with the Dahmer thing, and I I could just you know decide one day to blow it off and and, and take a look at it. But I I read a uh, an interview. And some of the victims' uh, uh, families are like, yeah, a little upset. You know what I mean? They're like, and I started thinking to myself, like, yeah, like you're gl- you're not glorifying him, but like you're putting him on display, you know, of some sort, right? I I don't know. I I, I wasn't. It, it made sense, like like to put myself in their shoes. I'm like, I that does seem probably a little bit, you know, in bad taste. But then again. We make movies about Hitler. We make movies about, right? Um, you know, and Ted Bundy. You know, and speaking of uh, Brian, you'd mentioned um, 
like the horrific scene that um uh da, 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 what's his name Gacy J- John John Wayne Gacy you know what they walked into but remember Ed Gein sure Ed Gein who is the um kind of the quasi uh uh prototype so to speak for uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Psycho and Psycho, like like what he did. I mean, the, mm-hmm. you want to look up and read a, or watch anything about a fucked up story? Watch it. Look up for Ed Gein. That mm-hmm. that dude was, yeah, like he was like the grandfather of of Psycho fucking killers, right? That's yeah, crazy. But yeah, um, yeah, the Dahmer thing. I probably ultimately will probably watch it. But like I, I just felt a weird after seeing that interview with the the one guy's uh, sister. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. That's that that's my hesitant to it. Mm. Okay, but I probably now, you, ultimately will watch it. Now, do you think these are? Some people say that they're, you know, making us desensitized to the horror, and they're making so it's like not real that it's and it's just a I hope story. So. You hope no, that... I, yeah, I go hope, ahead. Uh, I hope the public had desensitized because if not, how in the fuck would you get through this uh, podcast? You know, listening mm. to this, mm. you have to be de- desensitized <clears throat> from a lot of shit to to get through this. So, you by all try. means, throw out all the the worst shit you can. Let's get these people broken down so they can enjoy this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> good call. It's, uh, it's definitely a good Thank good you. stance. Yeah. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't think that it's uh, like you said. I, 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 I don't really know how how to go about saying it, but I mean, it's it's not. Um, we're all understanding that it's a, t- a TV portrayal of something that did actually happen. But it's um, if you, there would certainly be a difference, I guess, if you were to in person witness what you were seeing on screen, right? If you had seen right. some of these scenes in the show in front of you. You would certainly have a different reaction. I don't think it's it's making you desensitized because when you're taking the stuff in or you're just listening to these stories, yes, you know that they actually happen, but you're not experiencing them happening. I, there's, there's a different element to that. Um, I don't know. I mean, I as far as like younger audiences who might see it, I mean, there's there's a lot of talk about that over the years with you know things that the kids see on TV and that they become desensitized to things because everything's just so out there and you know like I don't I don't know about that but I I don't think for uh you know your your regularly functioning you know adult brain is going to be desensitized by watching you know a show that is a portrayal of true events I don't know. or something I watched, like that I don't know I watched an interview with a vampire just recently and I have a very strong urge to bite Nick in the neck yeah so. Yeah. You know, so that that is what it is. You know, take it for what that's worth. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, that's been there. That to urge to fair. bite me in the neck was was there. <laughs> that's to be true. Fair, long before you ever saw that. <laughs> that's true. Um. But yeah. So I don't know. What do you think, Brian? Yeah, I'm with you, Nick. It's like it, it's... you would bite my neck also. <laughs> you thinking well, about that? Of course. <laughs> okay. Of course. Good. Yes. No, but it's just I when I watch these things. I, I think I know it. who's getting COVID next. <laughs> <laughs> no, but just Can like you get COVID the... of the butt. <laughs> <laughs> no, but watching the Dahmer thing, it's just like I, I definitely, I, I feel horrible for the victim. I put my, you, you, you feel the victim's angst and terror, and you just are. You know, it's sad for them, and what, and you just imagine you're a loved one going through that horror, and you, you and know, you have to watch the portrayal of it. Yeah. Huh? What's that? And you, and now you have to watch the portrayal of it. it right. Exactly. So it even if make you me, don't watch it, you know that you know other people there. you know yeah. are watching it, and, and that's see different what your for you because other people aren't thinking of it like that because to them they're perfect strangers and this is just a you know the victim of you know sort of right but to you the person with the connection you can't help that that's the way you feel about it you know what i mean that is that yeah. would be a weird thing yeah so i don't know like you said i don't know if it's desensitizing people necessarily maybe some i don't know but i think there's a lot of people that feel like we do too to where you you'd feel bad on behalf of the you, you heard about it in the news and really in the news story it's like god that's weird and creepy and all that and it's just like when you watch something like this at that level it's like wow this was really really horrible and terrible and you really feel awful for the everybody involved and 
I don't know. It just makes me, maybe it's almost the opposite to where it says it heightens my awareness of something, how horrible that is to do to another person. And I don't know. So I guess it's all part of the journey watching those, watching those things. The, the, like, and I like you, I, I'm with you too, Dean. I like, I like the, the part of it to where like the, the Gacy thing in particular, because again, they're interviewing the actual officers who eventually yeah. caught the guy and you, you, you get to hear how they, Basically, they knew something was wrong. They knew there was a, a case, but they they have to legally try to string things together and and have the have the means to arrest the guy. You know, they had to get two search warrants, which is unusual. There's all kinds of things that that fall into place it's, to finally insane. catch a guy like that. Yeah. So yeah. It's, anyway, okay. They even said like Ted Bundy, and this goes to like spooky season. We're in October, guys, but mm-hmm. um. I heard there was these one reports that like these people that went to do these interviews with uh, Ted Bundy said, you know, just like everybody did, he was charming and, and well-spoken and just mm-hmm. a regular mild manner person. But like when he would start describing these, um, you know, these acts and what he did, they said like his, his eyes would just almost go black. Like it was like he, like his face would like change. Like it would, it would like, it wasn't the same entity sitting in front of them for that this brief moment while he's describing what he did and, and like enjoying describing what he did. It, it, it's it's yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any other thoughts on the serial killer shows or anything else here, guys? No, I think we, uh, I think we solved the problem. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> no more serial yep. killers will, will, uh, we just fixed it. Yep. Yeah. That's the, Yep, and Dean's killed a couple of jokes as well in the in <laughs> this in this particular uh, segment. All, too. all the while so. slaying himself. There you go. Mm-hmm. Eh. Well, uh, some parts of that segment uh, sucked. Generally. May or may not be heard. <laughs> on yeah. the podcast. I yep. see what you did there. <laughs> yep, and another thing that does suck is vampires. Sorry, that's true. And that is what we're going to talk about in our main segment this evening. Vampires, vampire content. So some of our favorite vampire content could be movies, it could be shows, it could be books, it could be anything that's vampire related. We're going to talk about that in our main segment this evening. Right after you suck on some of this commercial break. That's right. (laughs) Be right back. Hey, did you like that video? You know you did, and we know you did. So stop screwing around and go like that video, subscribe to our channel, and join us for some more. Thank you.